While everyone's been worried about crypto price action, this has been one of the biggest days in crypto history by far. BlackRock launches digital asset fund backed by $100 million on Ethereum. They're talking about expanding away from Bitcoin, tokenizing assets on Ethereum. Goldman Sachs, head of digital assets. The future is on public blockchains like Ethereum, like Solana. They just want to see public blockchains mature before expanding in that. So you get to expand into these before Goldman Sachs thinks they've matured. BlackRock already thinks they've matured. SEC committed gross abuse of power in suit against crypto company. Federal judge rules. They have to pay fines. They've been sanctioned. So this bodes very well for Ripple, for Coinbase in the SEC lawsuits. Japan's $1.5 trillion government fund seeks info on illiquid assets, including Bitcoin for portfolio diversification. $1.5 trillion government fund. Just getting started. So much money flowing in. BlackRock Managing Director says spot Bitcoin ETFs are satisfying pent up demand, right? So Wall Street, the big funds, fully understand what is going on. Following Fidelity's lead, Grayscale looks to add staking for its proposed Ethereum ETF. So what happens when these institutions realize the passive income they can generate from these crypto ETFs, just getting started, we have to stay on top of some very early stage microcap assets. Gamer Hash, the GHX token, and Gollum, both teams were at the NVIDIA conference. They're talking about partnering up to provide GPU resources to the AI industry. These are both decentralized computing assets. Golem is going to be using the decentralized computing power from GamerHash, that's 750,000 computers. So they're gearing up for some massive expansion in the artificial intelligence world. So much going on. Crypto stocks slide as markets brace for upcoming Fed decision. That's Wednesday.